is Jess and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am comparing the iPhone XS to the iPhone 11 Pro and seeing what the difference is. If you guys want to follow me on social media, it will be in the description box down below and you guys can find me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Come say hi, I usually reply. And if you guys comment down below, I usually reply to them too. And I really love your comments. I really love reading them and I always reply, like I said. Let's get right into the video. I'm sorry for this bad lighting. It, I, it's not the greatest. It's kind of yellow because I'm using the light that's in my room instead of natural light because I don't want to open the curtains right now. So I have the iPhone 11 Pro, which you guys probably saw the unboxing video for this in Space Gray. And then I have my old phone, which is the iPhone XS in gold. Both of them have 256 gigabytes. So I'm gonna show you a comparison of the two of them. I heard that the iPhone 11 Pro is like 0 0.02 bigger than the other one. So I already did like comparison online and I went to see in person to see if it was actually a little bit bigger and I heard it's a little bit heavier as well I told you guys in my unboxing video that I felt it and I think it is a little bit heavier than the other one so this is holding them straight like side by side you can see a little bit of a difference that it is a little bit taller than the iPhone XS I think the buttons are a little bit move on like the side buttons I mean I feel like it is maybe it's just me I don't know the obvious difference is that the iPhone 11 Pro has three cameras. See, there's one, two, and three. And then the back is also frosted. It's matte this time instead of like a shiny. I mean, on camera, it probably doesn't look as nice, but in person, it's actually really pretty. I like it. For the excess, the camera, there's only two cameras, obviously. There's the regular one and then the telephoto, where this one has the regular, the telephoto, and the ultra wide lens. I think that's what they're called. I'm not so sure. Please correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. So obviously this is shiny and like smooth and I feel like this one would be easier to drop. It is easier to drop than like if I were to hold this one without a case, it's not as easy to drop. This one is a little bit heavier, like I said, and if you guys put them side by side, the Apple logo, you can see a huge difference. The Apple logo is in the middle now instead of up here. And the flash, this one's in the middle and this one is up here. Let's compare, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. So this is the iPhone XS and then this is the iPhone 11 Pro. Let's see. Okay, and then here's the telephoto. Oh, that this one's having trouble like trying to focus. Well, not focus, but like it had to correct itself. And the iPhone 11, it was smoother. And then here's the ultra wide where you can see like everything. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, my room is a mess. And then this one only has two, one and two. This one has one, two and three. Okay, here's the regular one. Here's a picture with the iPhone 11 Pro. And then here's a picture with the iPhone XS. So I will be right back. I will vlog on my phone. Okay, this is on the iPhone XS and this is pretty good quality for like vlogging and stuff, but I don't know. What do you guys think? And then I feel like you can't see much with this. That's why I don't really vlog on the XS. Also, I don't have a tripod for my phone. That's why I always use my camera. Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna vlog on the other one. Okay, I can already already tell the difference between the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11, if I like switch it, not wide angle, if I put it sideways and vlog like this, I have noticed that it's not as close as the XS. What do you guys think? I mean, I feel like this one's clearer too and brighter than the other one where the XS was a little bit more yellow. So that's a comparison that I have noticed. Ooh, what about selfies? I forgot to tell you guys. Another cool feature that there is on the iPhone 11 is that there's slow-mo selfies. On the XS, obviously, there's no slow-mo selfies, and they're called slow-fees. There's slow-mo, and this one you can take a selfie with, and this one you can't with slow-mo.
Whoa, that was really cool. Yeah, this one, uh, this one I see that it is more clear and it's brighter. This one is not as bright and this one has like a wider angle. Let's see how photos. So you can't really zoom in on this one. So I'm gonna put it up on the screen and I'm gonna show you guys the difference in both of them. I mean, they're probably not the same picture, but I tried. Let's try to take another one. I'll have them side by side. One has more detail than the other one. And then also another cool feature that there is on the iPhone 11 Pro is that it gets wider when you turn it. And this is so cool. <gasps> wider. Whoa. That's cool. You could do that. Whoa, okay. Obviously, in the iPhone XS, you can't do the wider angle, and there's only one option. Okay, so I will see you guys tonight because I want to take night photos and show you guys the comparison of the XS and the night mode in the iPhone 11 Pro. So I will be right back, and I'll see you guys later. So I just took a couple pictures, and we're at the park right now, and it's dark. So I am going to put the comparison over in the next screen that you guys can see. Hey guys, so I know this is not the best lighting. Oh my gosh, it's dark. I'm filming at night again. But anyway, I have a good reason to film at night because I wanted to test the cameras and I just tested it at the park as you guys saw and compare the night mode and compare it to the regular camera. Obviously the regular camera, you can't really see anything. And then the night mode of obviously you can see, all you have to do is hold still and then it'll take the picture. Overall, I think that the phone is actually worth it because there's the fast, charger that it comes with and then there's the night mode and then there's three cameras obviously and like there's the ultra wide angle with the telephoto and the regular camera and I really like the ultra wide it's like a fisheye kind of I really like it personally but if you guys don't take pictures and just use your phone just for a regular the excess would be perfectly fine for you guys but Apple doesn't carry the excess anymore you would have to talk to your phone carrier but honestly I recommend upgrading to the 11 Pro because I I like taking pictures and obviously vlogging. That's my review of and like comparison of the iPhone XS and the iPhone 11 Pro. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like this video, I'm pretty sure you'll like my other ones as well. Um, I usually vlog. I usually don't do comparison videos, but this is my first comparison video because usually I go into the store and I already like give them my phone back. But this time I still have my phone and now I get to do a comparison video and this was so exciting exciting to see and what new features there are on the brand new phone compared to like the last the phone last year and yeah I really like this comment down below what you guys think also if you guys want to follow me on social media it will be in the description box down below like always I hope you guys have a wonderful magical day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys I'm sorry if this lighting is bad. I I don't really want to open the curtains right now. Maybe I should invest in like white curtains. Did it save? I really hope it did. Uh, oh, that's not gonna work. You can leave. Me. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to do this. Oh my gosh. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do an outro right now, just in case I forget. Okay, that was. I almost dropped my camera. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later tonight. And we're gonna take more pictures. And hopefully they, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll do a comparison. Mindy.